in 2009, I went for my antenatal clinic. That's when I was, I was tested, and then I found out that I was HIV positive. It was the first time for the mother of three to take a HIV test. At first, I was shocked because I can remember I cried a lot for around 30 minutes. I cried, really crying. She was in a dilemma. The challenge was, will I get a, a child who is HIV positive or a HIV negative or what will, will go on after I deliver? Unsafe delivery and failure by expectant mothers to attend antenatal clinics have been cited as the main causes of increased number of children living with HIV and AIDS in Kenya. And from our statistics, it's only about 40% of the mothers who come to deliver at health facilities now. If they deliver at home, that means we are not able to deliver to them or we are not able to provide them the necessary medications. But then there is another challenge. Typically when somebody is uh, diagnosed to have HIV, uh, one of the first things that we need to do is to um, take a measurement of their CD4 count. Testing for the number of CD4 T cells is a vital component in the management and care of people suffering from HIV and is important to determine when to commence antiretroviral treatment. CD4, uh, the machines that are able actually to, um, to detect or to uh, give us CD4 counts are very expensive and they're very few. In fact, in our country we have probably maybe one in every district hospital on average. Which means in places such as rural areas where health institutions are few and far apart, it could be difficult to start the treatment immediately one is diagnosed with HIV. If you have, if you're in a periphery, uh, that means you have maybe to take a sample, take it to the district hospital, uh, wait for another two or three weeks for you to get the report back, and then make a decision whether you want to start that person on ARVs or not. Uh, in Kenya, for example, we have 80,000 over 80,000 HIV positive and pregnant women every year. So if we do nothing, at least there's a risk that up to 40,000 children will be born with HIV every year. It is critical that CD4 kits are made available to ensure that a HIV expectant mother is placed on treatment immediately after diagnosis. Health experts say sometimes all it takes is some seconds to determine if a child will be born HIV negative. World Health Organization recommendation is that treatment commences when the CD4 count is at 350, which is why the government is looking into better ways to determine one's viral load. We are evaluating some of the point of care diagnostics. Now, the nice thing about uh, this point of care diagnostics, you can even make it available in VCT centers. And the last test, which was done at 18 months, and she's, she's very negative. AIDS funding has remained constant since 2008, and with the decline in contributions from some of the wealthy nations, there remains at least $7 billion U.S. dollars gap in funding to achieve universal access to HIV prevention, treatment, care and support by 2015. Globally, uh, every year we, we have kind of 340,000 HIV positive children who are born annually. And unfortunately, most of those children come from Sub-Saharan Africa. In fact, from 21 countries in Africa. And therefore, there is a feeling that for the world to make a difference, then these 21 countries must accelerate their efforts towards NHIV among children. Now, it's the responsibility of individual governments to creatively look for ways to turn the tide against HIV. Violet Otindo for Citizen Live at 9.